Grammys. You're over here. Go see him. Where? Oh, we have to go right there. there. Okay. <laughs> Katie! I'm going to tell you something right now. You are officially an astronaut. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I feel super connected to love. So connected to love. I think this experience has shown me you never know how much love is inside of you, like how much love you have to give mm -hmm. and how loved you are until the day you launch. We had yeah. these incredible shots of Daisy watching you. As the rockets, it will make me cry. As the rockets going up, and she was so proud. Just kept saying, "Mommy, mommy," and I know you'll feel the same way when you watch it. Uh, and you brought a real life Daisy up. That's it was right. Im important for you, not only because it's your daughter's name, but why else was that important to bring it? Daisies are common flowers, but they grow through any condition. They go through cement. They go through cracks. They go through walls. They are resilient. They are powerful. They are strong. They are everywhere. Flowers are, to me, God's smile, but it's also a, reman a, a reminder of our beautiful earth and the flowers here and God's smile and the beautiful magic that is everywhere, all around us, and even in a simple daisy. So to really appreciate it and remember it and take care of it and protect it. Gail shared with us the song that you sang when you got up there. What a wonderful world. Why was that important to sing that particular song? I've covered that song in the past. And um, obviously, like, my higher self is always steering the ship because I had no clue that one day I would decide to sing a little bit of that in space. But I think that... It's not about me. It's not about singing my songs. It's about a collective energy in there. It's about us. It's about making space for future women and taking up space and belonging. And it's about this wonderful world that we see right out there and appreciating it. This is all for the benefit of Earth. You have done so many incredible things in your life, uh, selling millions of records, selling out stadiums. Where does this experience rate for you? Uh, this experience uh, is right, is second to being a mom. Wow. Yeah. That's it. And that's why it was hard for me to go because that's all my love right there. And, and I have to surrender and trust that the universe is going to take care of me and protect me and also my family and my daughter. Because it's like I am full up from being able to get that gift of be, be, being a mom. And, and to go to space is incredible. And I wanted to model cur courage and... Um, worthiness mm -hmm. and fearlessness you did you said you wanted to go to space for the fearless women in your life as well your sister and your mom yeah. what was their reaction when you got to see them after you got off the caps i have only seen my mom and i was like are you okay mom she just she just knew she knew she was totally okay and I, i'm sure she was speaking in tongues underneath her breath as she does <laughs> um all the time she would do that for anything else yeah. but definitely today um but she was so super confident my mom she has this thing where she can see. I mean, even down to the name of, like, the capsule. Being tortoise. I know you you spoke to all of your fans about that, that the capsule's named tortoise, the feather on the side, that you know, the s symbol of blue origin. All of those gave you confidence that this was the right thing for you to do, correct? Yeah, because I just asked for a sign from the heavens, from my angels, and they're like, well, here's the feather which is what your mother calls you and if that's not enough the capsule is named tortoise which is the second nickname that your mother calls you and i'm like okay i'm going i'm going yeah. i got the message and i'm gonna get the message uh before i let you get back to your family i just had to ask you describe for us because you're so brilliant at, at putting you know words together and describing moments that we can all appreciate later how would you describe the moment when you took off and then the moment you landed the moment, I mean, it is the highest high, and it is surrender to the unknown, trust, um, and this whole journey is not 
just about going to space. It's the training. It's the the team. It's the whole thing. I, I couldn't recommend this experience more. This is like up there with all the, you know, different um tools that I've learned in my life from meditation to the Hoffman process. This is up there because what you're doing is you're fine. You're like really finding the love for yourself because you got to trust in yourself on this journey. And then you're feeling the love when you come down for sure. And you're feeling that strength. So I feel really connected to that strong divine feminine right now by the way you're such a badass i love that the month of april you're like i'm going to space and i'm launching my tour I mean, it's really incredible i now i know I'm, I'm asking this question for your fans will you write a song about this experience oh for sure 100 percent. and not only that i um got to reveal my set list Woo! for the tour on a butterfly how apropos incredible. just flying in space i don't That's know if anyone's ever in space i don't know if anyone's <laughs> ever done that before so no, I'll just well, there's a lot of things that you have done first. Uh, you are now officially an astronaut, and let me just tell you, on behalf of everyone here at Blue Origin, our webcast, and everyone, all of these individuals that put this incredible thing on, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, is it a, a 10 out of 10? That's my review. A 10 out of 10. You definitely go, go for it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Thank you, Katie. Congratulations. All right, you guys. So many fun uh, moments uh, that we'll continue to see as we get the footage. But uh, I'm going to send it back to you and let these incredible astronauts enjoy their time with their friends and family.